A heated debate surrounding an unhoused Bill of Rights continues tonight in St. Louis. The controversial proposal has gone through some changes since it was first introduced earlier this month. The bill would offer protections to people living in encampments like this one outside of the courts building. A companion bill would also remove signature requirements from neighbors for the creation of new shelters. First Lord Forrest Nathan Vickers is live outside of City Hall tonight where the next public hearing about this issue is about to start, Nathan. That's right, there's a, a three different bills on the table tonight. There's the unhoused Bill of Rights and then two bills that sort of have to do with shelter zoning. The people behind these bills say that there aren't enough shelter spaces right now, so people are seeking out public spaces like encampments like the one that's outside the municipal courts building here. But there's a lot of neighborhood concern in all this too, especially with the removal of those signature requirements for new shelters. For years, this has been a, a corner bar establishment. Ken Orman and his wife run the Cat's Meow in Soulard. He's a former alderman and involved with several neighborhood groups concerned about unhoused communities in St. Louis. We're getting the, the whole region's uh, problems. He's one of many who's also opposed to a series of proposals before the Board of Aldermen, an unhoused Bill of Rights that would sanction and support some encampments in the city, as well as zoning changes that would remove signature requirements for creating new homeless shelters. Taking away the petitioning process, you know, is not right. I mean, you should never take away the say of the community. But comments lasted for several hours at the last hearing for the bills, sponsored by Alderwoman Alicia Sonye. If we don't create places for them to go, they will create places for themselves. So any plans on introducing changes to the Bill of Rights based on some neighborhood feedback on the unhoused task force, micro shelter requirements, and definitions within the bill? Talking about like what are the things that you want to see that would make you feel comfortable with expanding shelter capacity. But one thing that's not changing is the proposal to remove the platinum petition process. Platinum petition, through that process, we've opened up zero shelters in the last 15 years, but we've certainly not seen a decrease in our unhoused members in our community. That's likely a sticking point for several neighborhood groups. Decision makers really need to sit down and take a look at it because would they like their voice taken away from them? That, that hearing starts here in about an hour, and neighborhood groups are encouraging <clears throat> people to come out in numbers, uh, but so are advocates for unhoused communities here in St. Louis. So uh, last uh, public meeting went for several hours of public comment. This one will likely go late tonight as well. Reporting live in St. Louis, Nathan Vickers, First Alert 4.